couldn't check in now with Aaron Moran once again, uh, talk a little bit more about uh, some of this rain that we're seeing in our area and really in other parts of uh, Texas as well. Yeah, the Texas coast just kind of getting hammered with that heavy rain right now, having to do with what was Tropical Storm Beta did make landfall late last night near Port O'Connor pushing inland and weakening to a tropical depression, which is the status where it stands now. It is slowly moving to the northeast at less than five miles an hour, but you do see those outer rain bands still impacting Houston to College Station, even Centerville, and yes, even up here into North Texas as well. The rain that we are seeing is associated with this post-tropical system. So we're going to continue to watch this rain overnight as the storm moves very very slowly to the northeast. Flash flood warnings are in place for the Houston Metro down toward Galveston. Flash flood watches still stretching along the Texas coast, the southeast Texas coast, and then not just along the Louisiana coast, but pretty far inland as well, up towards Alexandria. We've already seen some spots with 5 to 15 inches of rain. That is why the National Weather Service did issue those flash flood warnings for the Houston metro area. And it does look like continuing through tomorrow afternoon, we could see another 2 to 3 inches for some of those heaviest hit areas. And then the farther inland you go, you're looking at more like trace amounts to maybe a half inch of rain. And that's kind of where we have been here in North Texas. Most of us have seen less than an inch of rainfall, but some spots up toward Paris and then out toward Texarkana have picked up one to two inches of rain over the last 24 to 48 hours. So as this system continues to very slowly move along the Texas coast, that's where the heaviest rain is going to be. So Houston is not out of the woods just yet, and even up to the north of Houston, up toward the I-10 corridor, some heavy rain expected overnight tonight. But our rain chances gradually wind down. They're at 20 percent or less. We are still going to keep the cloud cover around for Wednesday, though. So most cloudy skies, isolated showers from time to time. But by the time we get to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, this system is pushing off into Louisiana. You get that wraparound moisture to move away from us in North Texas as that system moves away from Texas altogether. And gradually, we start to see things clearing out. But we have been left under those cloudy skies for the first day of fall here in North Texas, which has kept temperatures well below average in the upper 60s and low 70s this afternoon, which is where we sit currently and where we're expecting to be for the next several hours. Tonight, we've got isolated rain chances. Temperatures dip into the mid-60s. Tomorrow is still cooler with high temperatures expected to top out in the mid-70s, but those rain chances gradually come to an end, and the sunshine is back on Thursday. Look at these temperatures. Friday up to 85, 88 for the weekend, and even 90 for Monday of next week before a cold front sweeps through. Ken? That's a great-looking weekend. All right.